Hey folks, Cornell with Mystery Tackle Box. Today I'm showing off the BDT 105 Topwater Bait by Castaic and designed by pro angler Boyd Duckett. What you're looking at is a half ounce, 105 millimeter topwater walking bait. Take a look at that exclusive color called Gunmetal Shad. It's got a chartreuse belly, a bright red cupped mouth with a little more splash and action when you walk the bait. It's got a feathered treble and blood red with a bit of black and a little bit of flash of blue for more action and super, super durable katana hardware and sticky sharp katana hooks. There is nothing better than having the perfect setup for your top water walking bait. For me, it's a six and a half foot medium heavy rod, a high speed reel and 30 pound test braid. Why do I have 30 pound test braid? Well, it casts a country mile, it has no stretch and of course, it floats, but there's a little bit of a challenge when it comes to using braid and a top water walking bait. When it comes to throwing frogs and buzz baits and baits that just pulling straight back to the boat, it's a non-issue. But when it comes to a walking bait, it's doing just that. It's walking. So what tends to happen with these super soft, super limp lines is you're throwing that bait out there and it's getting all caught up in itself and you're going to basically get your hooks fouled. So what the best way to avoid that is get yourself a great line to lead or not, a braid to lead or not, which is going to be an Albright in my case. That's 14 pound test mono. You can go 14 to 20 pound test model because it floats but it has a lot of memory it's a lot stiffer so when you're out there fishing you're going to have that bait basically getting hooked up in itself because that mono is going to keep out of the way and you're going to have a great day of top water fishing for those of you that don't have a lot of experience with top water walking baits it's really not that hard it's not that intimidating there's a little bit of a learning curve but it's kind of like riding a bike once you get it it's done so basically in a nutshell one of the easiest things you can do is cast your top water walking bait out there and start slow it's nothing more than a little bit of a twitch and pause a twitch and a pause so if you get up to your bait give it a twitch and stop twitch and stop and watch your bait go left and right and each twitch is gonna have it do a left and a right turn so if you go real slow you'll see how easy it is to get it to turn if it's well engineered bait like this BDT 105 it's easy to walk some baits are a little bit more difficult but this little number is killing it when it comes to walking so basically as you learn to walk your topwater bait you can build up your cadence the next thing you know you're just skimming that beauty right across the top of the water and that BDT 105 is coming right back to you hopefully with a fish on it. The best thing about a topwater walking bait and any topwater bait in general is there's really not many limitations as to where you can throw it. The baits on the top of the water, with the exception of big heavy weed mats and things like that and treble hooks, these baits can be thrown pretty much anywhere. Standing timber, long tapering points, lay downs on shorelines, grass on shorelines, deep, shallow, it doesn't matter. If you love the topwater fish and the conditions are right, tie yourself on a topwater bait and or a BDT 105 topwater walking bait and go out there and get it done. 